Hello kiddos, I've come back with a new tutorial and this time I will teach you how to make this very cute Christmas tree decoration. It's a little angel made of pasta, glitter and glue. So um, it's a very fun one. It will be a three day craft for my kids in Sagasta and if you're doing it outside of school, well, just have fun with it and it will probably take you more or less time. So you will start off by needing some molding paste. If you don't have if you don't have molding paste, just make some dough out of wheat flour and some water. And then you will need some pasta. I like these tubes and this bowl just because it's easier to make the angel. Now, if you want to make your own, just play with dough. Just make a bunch of dough and play around with it. You will also need some brushes, some glitter. Now you can use uh, various colors or you can use only one color, it depends on mm, your preference. You will need a thread or some rubber just so you can stick the little angel to a tree or hang the little angel to a tree and some white glue. And then for the head, for the decoration of the head, you will need some rice or you can have some small pasta, some stars, it's pretty much up to you. So start off by taking a very small piece of that molding paste and roll it into a sausage. Then cut that sausage into two pieces and you will want to shape the arms of the little angel. Now to shape them up and make them be custom made, you want to cross them on one edge on top of the pasta and stick them together. Now once you have shape them you can let them dry over a warm surface i recommend a heater just for them to dry up faster and then you will also need to take a small piece i mean the remaining part of that molding paste and create a sphere or a bubble or a ball your it's totally up to you how you want to call it and then you want to leave this dry over a warm surface too and you will just let them dry overnight, then the next day we'll start putting the angel together. You want to start off by taking your bow and just placing a bunch of white glue. I do recommend white glue for this one um, in the center and just put the thread in the middle. Once you have put the thread, apply a little bit more of white glue and place the tube over the thread and the bow in such way that they will meet in the center. Okay, you want to overlap this, all these pieces just to make them dry together. And then once it has dried a little or if you want to continue, you can start by um, sticking the arms and the head. Now it will be a good idea to do some sticking the first day. I mean, just roll the ball, do the sausages, let them dry and start sticking the bow and the thread and the pasta. So you would have them stuck already. If not, it will take you a little bit of time. And then just continue sticking the pieces together, placing them together. As you can see, I overlap the arms or the small sausages on the... Um, pasta and I'm not too careful it doesn't really matter m matter the way you do it you can do the arms upwards or downwards it will look just as cute you have to be a little bit patient or if you want to make sure that they will stick together let the glue turn a little bit transparent and try to stick them once it has gone a little bit transparent now, as you can see i have a few examples here i'm just showing you another one because this one is already dry and the next step will be the decoration of the head you can either draw the face of the little angel or you can cover it all the way all the way with glitter but if you want to add in some hair i recommend you take a whole bunch of rice or stars or kush kush and just um, stick them to that little ball just like you did with the arms and the body And 
and let it dry overnight over a warm surface. Once it has dried, the third day you start by decorating your angel. You can cover it all the way with glitter and just pour a whole bunch of glitter all over it and this will create the shiny effect, the one that you have seen in the beginning. Or you can leave the face without being covered and you can actually draw with a marker um, the eyes and the mouth of the little angel. This is totally up to you, the colors that you want to use it's totally up to you how you want to decorate. Now you will realize that some parts of the angel are still without being covered. They're not covered entirely so just do the same step over and over again for covering pieces where you can see the pasta if you want to cover it entirely. As you can also see, every time I apply a new layer of glitter, I'm always doing it on top of a sheet of white paper because it is really important that you guys recycle. And I mean, you would not realize how much glitter you would waste if you just don't work over some kind of protected surface and you will end up with glitter all over the house or all over the classroom. So I do recommend that you cover the your working space with some white paper so you can recycle the paper and you can actually keep your working surface a bit um, cleaner. So remove the excess um, glitter by brushing it away a little bit and then it, this glitter that you have left over it's already good for reuse so don't forget to recycle it is very important. So this was pretty much it. Once the angel has dried, it's pretty much done and you can stick it to your um, on your tree or you can use it as um, a decoration for maybe your nativity scene, whatever you decide, wherever you decide to do it. Or you can just hand it to somebody you care for as a Christmas present. I hope you guys enjoyed and... Um, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!